Josh Jamel versus stripper Nicole Forrester. It's the ultimate case of he said, she said. Jamel blasted the Atlanta strippers, claimed they hooked up as ridiculous. But now Forrester is telling her side of the story. In an exclusive interview with The Burt Show on Atlanta radio station Q100, stripper Nicole Forrester opened up about her alleged affair with Fergie's husband, Josh Dumel. Came into Tattletales early in October, and he had, um, you know, when he came in, of course, I didn't know who he was at first, but I knew he was really freaking hot. I knew he was, <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so hot. When he was leaving, he um, asked for my number. I was like, yeah. Absolutely. And then um, then I was like, can I have yours? So he gave me his. And then he was like, well, I'm working during the week. He takes his work seriously. Very, very nice guy, by the way. Very nice guy. And then he texts me on Friday, you know, wanted to hang out or whatever and have a good time and party and stuff. So are you Fergie's husband? And he, he's like, you know what you know. We have a lot of evidence that we have, but I can't really talk about it because my attorney has asked for that to be out of the story for okay, right now. So you know, we're not asking you to show us them, but you have them on a cell phone. Yes. Okay. Um, so anyway, we did hook up, we had lots of sex, and uh, we had a really, really good time. But he actually went out of town a week after it happened, for a week, I think, you know, Fergie's been on tour or whatever, and he went out of town, and he wasn't answering my calls and stuff, and I thought that was kind of weird. But I left him a message, I was like, look, these people are calling me, you gotta help me, I don't want the story to get out, because I have these kids, and it's, my kids are gonna be really upset, my daughter especially. So, um, he called me back, he was like, hun, hun, you have to totally deny that you ever knew me. I'm really, really upset because, you know, they, they, this is going to mess up my life. In I didn't cash. contact the tabloid at well, all. They uh, contacted me. They contacted you, but eventually you had to say, okay, $500, I'll do that. $1,000, I'll do that. $2,000, bucks, i will do that. Yeah, do after you wish the third or fourth time, and they said that they were going to report the story anyway, I was mm -hmm. like, what the heck? You know, let's do it. At that what the heck moment, though, is what I'm talking about. I would, Do I wish I would have not done it? Yeah, yeah, now because it's caused me a lot of problems. And people at the kids' school has, you know, you know, asked me, are you this person? Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm, I mean, well, it looks like me, doesn't it? You know? Mm -hmm. But he kept telling me he was a porn star. And I was like, at first I was like, you're no porn star. But anyway, um, I mean, he was just a really, really good looking guy. And I just thought there was just an attraction. And I thought that, you know, I just wanted to just be with him. I mean, have you ever just been attracted to somebody and just be like, dang, you know? Just wanted to be with him. At but the, you knew at the time that he was married he was to Fergie, though. And I did not know at the time. But you did ask him at, about it. Yeah, I did ask him about it. And when I got there, I mean, I was intoxicated. I'm not lying about anything. I have nothing to hide. And, you know, he's just as guilty as I am. It happens every day. You know, I'm human. I'm not the first that this has happened with, and nor will I'm sure I'll be the last.